what's called Florida's nature coast. A little town called Inglis, which is about a 90 minute car drive north of Tampa and about two hours northwest of Orlando. This is our main lodge that you see right here. You see my buddy, this is Tonto Gonzalez that keeps uh, an eye on our front porch for us. And uh, this is our main lodge, pretty much located right in the center of the ranch. The ranch has about 11 miles of border to it. It's 50% hardwood hammock and 50% uplands. We have uh, native game and exotic game. So there's something to hunt here year round. Uh, we also offer uh, guided fishing and guided bow fishing. So whether you're hunting wild boar, water buffalo, zebra, monster whitetails, axis, or just want to go out at night and get a big uh, garfish or a Florida alligator, all of those options are available to you right here at Ross Hammock Ranch. What I'm going to do in the next few minutes is show you around our main lodge um, that we call our Cypress Log Lodge. As we come into the lodge, virtually everything you see in here was taken on the ranch. There's a few animals that were not that I'll point out to you, but almost everything you see in the building here was taken on the ranch. One of our signature animals is the axis deer that you see right here. That's native to India and it's called Chital in India. And uh, this one old timer told, told me that God made whitetail for man, but he made the axis deer for himself. It's a spectacular animal. Uh, we can hunt them year round on the ranch here and the table fare for the venison is off the charts. Uh, in terms of the whitetail deer, we, we have a, a very low cost hunt for the Florida whitetail deer and then about 13 years ago I brought in deer from Canada, um, Wisconsin, North Dakota, Minnesota and we introduced northern strains of deer right here in Florida. So we also have just some nice big monster whitetail here of northern strains. Uh, every year we'll take a few bucks that score up in the 200 range Boone and Crockett. This animal right here is the black buck antelope and uh, it's a member of the antelope family which means these are actually horns where the whitetail have antlers. What's the difference? Horns never shed. They just keep growing and growing to where the uh, whitetail is a member of the Cervidae family like the Axis and they shed their antlers every year and they grow back. So the, the black buck is just a really cool member of the antelope family and uh, it's a really fun animal to hunt, a very challenging uh, uh, bow hunt and uh, again the quality of the meat is um, excellent. I did forget to point out right over here we have uh, the Osceola turkey and uh, right now uh, this time of year uh, is, uh, is turkey season and this is the Osceola variety. The Osceola is only found like in Central and South Florida, so it has a very small range. It's a very tough bird to take, and its eyesight is second to none. It's just incredible. They can see you blink or twitch a mile away. So if you want to get your, um, your Grand Slam done, you're going to have to get an Osceola. If you want an Osceola, you got to come to Ross Hammock Ranch, and we'll put you on one. Uh, in terms of our exotic game, as we get into the great room of the lodge here, You'll see several species, such as um, various rams. This is a Texas Sandall ram. This is a Barasinga. We have red stag. And then we have all the different color phases on the fallow deer. As you probably know, the fallow deer is native to Southern Europe. Some are solid white, some are spotted like the Axis, and some are chocolate brown. We have all three color phases here at the ranch. And they have those nice big paddled, um, uh, horns on them that they call palmated, the palmated paddle type horns on them you'll find on the fallow deer. So you'll find those at the ranch here. We have the red stag here um, and several other species of animal. You'll see a few animals here that were um, taken on trips that we uh, leave the state of Florida, such as these black bear were taken up in Newfoundland. Um, on the top there was a caribou on a trip to Alaska. And then that lion there is not a Florida panther, that is actually um, uh, a lion that I took in uh, northern Idaho right on the Canadian border. One of our favorite species that our clients like is the Florida wild boar. And here's a particularly large one right here. The bottom tusks on the wild boar are called the cutters and the top tusks are called the wetters. And they call them the wetters because it's like a whetstone that you sharpen your knife on. Every time they close their mouth, 
the top tooth sharpens the bottom tusk. And that's why they call this is the wetter and that's the cutter. It acts as a whetstone. So if you see a hog snapping his jaws on you, he's not trying to bite you. He's sharpening his dental wear and then he's gonna come bite you. As we head out to the back of the, uh, the bar here, back of the lodge into our bar area, um, we do have some African game on the ranch here, um, including the, uh, the zebra. Um, we also have um, Audad and uh, Elon and uh, a few other African species here um, for our guests that aren't able to make it all the way across the pond to the, to the Africa countries. Up here, you'll see the uh, Asian water buffalo. Some people say that that's the cousin to the African Cape buffalo. It looks a lot like a Cape buffalo. One of the main differences is that with the Asian water buffalo, the horns do not join on top of the skull and create what's called the boss, like they do on the African Cape. But even though it doesn't have a boss on it, it's still the boss of the woods, I'll tell you that. It's still a dangerous game hunt, and uh, it's uh, an animal to be definitely respected when you're walking through the swamps of Florida in an area that have the Asian water buffalo uh, in their population. And we have a large herd of those here on the ranch, including an SCI number one uh, water buffalo with a crossbow was taken here a few years ago. So they're a lot of fun to hunt on the ranch, uh, some of them up to 2,000 pounds. Here you have some more pictures with some more mounts, I mean, some more mounts, examples of the Florida wild boar. Um, the wild boar has been in Florida about 500 years. They were introduced by the Spanish here. Um, and since that time, they estimate there's about 750,000 of them in the state of Florida. So they're a very prolific animal. As we go through the lodge, um, all of our bedrooms have names on them. This is the big buck suite right here. We just passed the stag room and the boar room. So uh, when our clients come back, they can ask for their favorite room. Over here, we have a media room. has a little three-tier seating in it so that if the guy in front has a cowboy hat on, everybody still gets to see the video. And uh, we have a flat screen TV, a nice surround system. Uh, we have uh, video hookups here, so if we have a camera crew in and they're filming your hunt, you can come right in here and watch your own hunt. Uh, for a small extra fee, we'll edit out any misses that you have, okay? All right. Now we're getting into my two favorite rooms in the lodge, the dining room and the kitchen, okay? Um, getting ready to have like a little second serving of dinner tonight. Um, on this wall, you see some of our other whitetails that were taken here over the last year or so. Um, you also see um, on the very end here, a nice big axis buck. And uh, you'll notice that the axis right here um, is still in late stage velvet. It's just starting to peel its velvet off. And uh, that's a, a beautiful example of the, of the axis deer right there. And uh, this is an African eight ax that you see right there, kind of a rare animal. And then again, my very favorite room is our kitchen. You can see how nice our cook dresses here. Usually she dresses a little bit nicer but tonight she's kind of dressing down. And one of our senior guides here, Mr. H. Lawrence, I don't really like him because he's a Gator fan, but we'll get over that. So anyway, when you're here at the lodge, you can get iced tea, sweet, unsweet, get a snack, um, get a donut, whatever you want. We cook all the meals, everything's terrific. Complete laundry room, it's just a home away from home. Um, we take care of our clients. Not only do we have the full setup in the lodge, we have two rifle ranges, a 3D archery course, screened-in cleaning room, two walk-in coolers. We have an on-site butcher shop and butcher staff and also on-site taxidermy services. So once you get here, everything from A to Z on your hunt is taken care of. All you have to do is focus on your hunt, and that's key. All right, we're heading upstairs now to the second floor of the lodge. Every so often we'll have a client that comes to the lodge that thinks they're a pool shark and I'll have to vacuum a few dollars out of their wallet for them right here on our billiards table. So we have a nice pool table set up here. 
and uh, also um, a dart board right over there. Then this wing here, uh, this is another one of our rooms. It's called the Safari Suite. It has examples of a lot of our African game in it. Queen size bed, um, fireplace in the corner. It has its own private balcony here. And then off to there is a little wing with four other beds. If you bring your kids along with you, they've got their own room over there. Almost all of our bedrooms have private baths and uh, satellite TV. So again, when you're not out in the woods, it's a pretty cool place to hang out. This bedroom right here is called the Bear's Den. And uh, some of our younger hunters really like this room. And uh, what we tell them is that full body mount bear right outside their door. That bear comes alive about nine o'clock at night. So once you get in here, do not open this door after nine o'clock, that bear will get you. We have a um, indoor fireplace in the great room and then the safari suite also has an indoor fireplace and then we also like to have a fire going outside it's not uncommon to have a country music artist here hunting with us and having someone uh, playing a tune out by the fire at night you can come for the day or you can spend the night or some folks spend a bunch of nights here go hunting go fishing native game, exotic game, hang out on the front porch, tell some lies back at the sports bar, just have a really good time. You're probably going to go home a pound or two heavier than when you came. Southern hospitality right here at Ross Hammock Ranch.